and today I'm back with a memory planning spread in my motorhome. I haven't done one of these for a while so I thought that this would be a nice change for us. We've done a lot of plan with me's in my print pression and my hobo um, and for some reason I've just not picked this up. I've done a couple of spreads off camera. Um, I've done them at night time when I've been watching The Staircase on Netflix. I got a bit obsessed with it um, and I did them then but I thought it would be nice to jump on today and to do um, a memory planning spread in here so I've got a kit from Blush Row and you might think Rach why are you doing a, a summer kit it's freezing cold nearly November that's because in here I'm quite behind I don't know actually if I'd call it behind I think I like doing just let me get rid of that I think I like doing this um, this way where I'm I've got a few weeks um, to go to catch up on I don't know I just I feel when I get close to catching up I get a bit panicky that I don't have any anything to do if I want to you know I, I sometimes have a bit of a crappy day and it's just a bit of stress relief to just sit down put your favorite tv show on and just do some memory planning um so when I catch myself up too far I do get a little bit panicky <laughs> so I like to be behind a little bit so yeah that means that as you could see from the little tab there we are actually am I on the camera we are actually um in July here so, um, three spreads I think I've done off camera. I can't remember who this one was by. It might have been Unicorn Planner, this spread, or something like that. Unicorn something, I'm sure. And then this one was a sub box from Harriet Wright Designs, which was beautiful. And then this was just a mini kit from Paper Shire. Uh, it's Planner Face, sorry, not Paper Shire, Planner Face. So, that brings us up to date. So, I need to get my inserts out and we'll do a memory planning spread it's been so long since i've done one i can't even remember what the last one was that i did so yeah i'll take my inserts out and then we can get on so these are just my inserts from justinian's printables i had the same ones in my personal wide and they worked really well for me so i grabbed them in my personal so let's go through the kit and see what we've got first of all we've got a sheet of deco which is really nice i like to have some extra decoration then we've got our nine full boxes and just a small strip of washi down the bottom there. We've got some headers and some functionals. We've got some absolutely beautiful uh, bottom washi there. Seems to be a line across it. And just to be clear as well, actually, this is a glitch kit. This is why there is a G on there. I bought this as a glitch kit. I'm pretty sure that I've got the whole kit for eight pounds. That will probably be the glitch. I can deal with that. I am gonna, um, in fact, I'm probably actually not even gonna use that one. What I can do is, use that across the bottom of there yeah and it cuts it off so it's absolutely fine so yeah we've got our washi and our headers we have got some functional boxes we've got checklists and some more functional boxes trackers and a weekend banner <laughs> there's no extra sheet there H I'm trying to it's really quite thick sticker paper I did it on that one as well I thought there was a sheet stuck behind it so yeah we have got quite a few stickers to work with there so what I am going to do is I'm going to disappear for a minute, I'm going to white out the tops of these and I shall be back. Okay, so I've whited out the tops of the headers. I've done it a little bit messily. You can still see that the pink um, from the first letter of the weekdays is still shining through. That doesn't matter, it doesn't show up through the stickers. I've just messily got rid of the black. I just used my Tipex Mini Mouse. I get these in a two pack from Amazon, they're quite affordable. Um, and I've moved the camera down a little bit as well because I feel like um, it was probably a bit too far away. So we will start with the washi, if I can find it. We'll start with the washi. And I'm going to need to... Um, oh, I might not actually. I was going to say I'm going to need to add a piece of washi to it to cover up. Um, but I don't think I will. I think I'll be all right. So because I use this as a memory planner, I don't need this note section down here. So I'm just going to do what I always do. And I'm going to cover it over with the, um, the washi, which is gorgeous, by the way can't remember the name of this kit but I've had a couple of kits from Blush Row and I've really enjoyed them um, and they've all been glitch kits that I've uh, bought as well and I'll be honest with you that's the only one where I've actually seen what the glitch is the other ones I did uh, think why are these glitch kits um I am going to need a bit of washing aren't I so what I'll do is I'll put that back down there let's have a look through my washi 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 can I say washi uh, washi collection and see <coughs> what I have that might match up with this kit I feel like I want it to be pink because we've got some quite nice pink in this kit so unless I do oh, 
part one and have a bit of foil what do you think this is sometimes why it's quite nice to do this on instagram live because you can give me your thoughts directly um or maybe a little strip oh i can't decide um i'm gonna go with this i think so then if i do that that means that i need to put rose gold foil with the rest of the kit what do we think? Rose gold foil with this kit? Hmm. Maybe I will just use just a standard pink bows. I think that's what I'll do. I'm just going to go with the standard pink bows. Um, I can't tell you what washer this is. It's from Simply Gilded, but I'm not a Simply Gilded nut. I don't know all the official names of all the washes. I know some people are absolutely amazing at doing it. Um, and letting you know exactly what the washi is, but and I cut and I don't know if I've bought it from a D stash or bought it myself either, so um, I couldn't even go back and look on an order. But it's just a light pink with a nice gold bow. I just got a tiny bit of chipex on there, it has come off, and because it's a light one, I am just going to go over this line as well. I nearly got that on my background, then <laughs> I would cry. Right, okay, so I need my slice and I need my washi card. <clears throat> right, let's just cut a piece of this down. So how are you all doing? How is everybody? I hope you're all doing well. I'm not too bad, not too bad at all. Or at least I wasn't until I stuck this on here. Oh, what a disaster. And I stuck it down more. It's a good job that was just washy and not anything that was going to um, going to make a mess of that. What is going on with me today? Like, why am I so dopey? It's quite early in the morning, to be fair, actually. We've been up a while. Um, it's about 8 o'clock in the morning. And my daughter got up early today. She's a bit of an early riser. So we've been up and out into the shop and, and back already. Back in our PJs. <laughs> because the weather's meant to be really bad today. Um, it's forecasting quite a bit of rain. Now, that's going to cut those bows off. If I do it that way. Hmm. Let me figure out what I want to do with this washer. I might just move it come uh, move it down a little bit and I will come back in a second. Right, I'm back and I've sorted it out. What I decided to do was just to pop it over the top slightly of that washer. You can see it popping through. I really don't mind it, but I didn't want to cut the top of those um, bows off. I mean, what I should have done really is just trimmed off the edge and just had it as a small one. Or maybe even just use a 10, a 10 millimeter. Uh, washi strip would have been the easiest way to do that but for some reason this morning I've decided that I'm doing everything the hard way so that's what we did so what I want to do now then is to use one of these uh, decoration boxes and just to pop it as a little accent at the bottom I think as well I might pop a header on the top of it and try and cover up that little mark that I seem to have made I don't really know how that happened but which box do I want to have um, I feel like I want to have this one because it's going to stand out nicely over the top of that. So I usually line them up with this uh, with this line here. And then that makes that pretty straight. And then if I put a header on the top of that, that might even get rid of that there at the top. So let's see. I'm going to need a glitter header, I think. Do we have any glitter headers with this kit? We don't have any glitter headers, but that's fine because I have... A folder that is full of them how cute is this freebie that I got from happy Sherpa adorable so yeah I just want a glitter header maybe a blue glitter header I'm sure that I might have some in here somewhere or maybe even a gold glitter header because I've got that gold foil on those bows let's have a little look see and see what I've got I'm not going to have a single blue bloody header now, am I? I could have a pink one. What about that pink? Um, yeah, I am. I'm going to take those out because I'll use them in between my spreads as well. In fact, I might actually use them as date covers at the top. Um, underneath the date covers at the top as well. So let me do that. These were... I think these are cut-offs from... Um, what's that shop called? Where are my tweezers? Oh, what is going on with me today? 
Um, Lily Blossom Designs, I think that's from. Let me find my tweezers and I'll be back. Right, I found my tweezers. I've had a sip of coffee. <laughs> I think I might have come around a little bit now. Honestly, just one of those videos today. Right, so then that means that I've covered up that little mark. And that's cute. I don't mind that at all. Right, I'm going to put those to the side. And we will use those again in a minute. And let's get our date covers down. So we get date covers included in this kit. And it's the ones that look like the little paint swipes. Which I'm a big fan of. A lot of shops do them like that and I like it. So yeah, we've been up and about early this morning. My daughter got up early and we needed a couple of bits and pieces from the shop. We live just around the corner from um, a co-op, which is really, really handy. Um, and it opens at 6am, so I knew it would be open early doors. So we were up and out and back again for about quarter past eight this morning because it was spitting, but I had a little look-see at the weather today and it's apparently going to be a complete downfall, uh, downpour. And I just thought, do you know what I hate? Do you know what I really, really hate? I really hate waiting for a break in the rain. Like just sitting, looking out the window, knowing that you've got a job to do. It's usually the shop or the post office or something like that. And just waiting for the rain to pass and it never does. And then you have to go out in it anyway. So I just thought, um, yeah, well, we'll just get out and get our jobs done. And then we could get back. Let's do Saturday and Sunday. And then we're nearly done with these date covers. So yeah, I went to the shop and I got all the things to make chilli for tea tonight. That's what we're going to have for tea. The kids are not, they won't eat that. They're going to have, uh, my daughter's quite a fussy eater, but she really likes those. She calls it long chicken and she means like fresh chicken goujons. So the kids are going to have those in some pasta because she will actually eat that. So yeah, I have come back home. We have got back in our PJs. Uh, we watched a bit of telly, had some breakfast, we bought some croissants for breakfast. Um, and then that's us for the day, I think. We need to uh, stay in and hide away from the rain. I can't believe how much rain we're having lately. Is it like that where everybody else is? It's just, I mean, it's, yeah, it's it's winter. It's, um, well, it's not quite winter. It feels like winter. It's freezing. It's um, the end of autumn. And I live in Blackpool, which is predominantly known for bloody raining. It's just, honestly, sunny Blackpool. When people say, oh yeah, I live in sunny Blackpool, it's it's like, yeah, we know you're saying that we rain all the time. We know. So I'm going to film this video. And then I am going to play Play-Doh with my daughter because I promised her we'd have a game. Uh, of, she got an ice cream maker, Play-Doh ice cream maker thing. Promised her we'd have a go at that. Then she bought some pancake mix from the shop, so we're going to make pancakes later with ice cream and some sweeties on. Um, and then she's going to have a bath. Later on, obviously, I'm talking about have a bath before bed. And then she's excited because her friend is coming tomorrow. I'm looking after my friend's little girl again. So she's chuffed about that. That means she gets to have a little play date with her, which she obviously loves. And I think we're going to go out for some lunch tomorrow. We've not been out for lunch for a while because, I mean, I took the kids to the cafe, to um, the McDonald's cafe the other day for something to eat. I do take them out, obviously, but I mean, like, as a family, because Chris has been working quite a bit, we've not managed to get out for tea or anything like that for a while, so because he's off tomorrow, we're going to go to the nice little pub around the corner from us. Um, it's a little bit, it's not like, how can I say, it's not like pub grub, it's more of a fancy pub, it's a little bit nicer. A little bit more expensive, but it is a little bit nicer. So we're going to have something to eat through there, and that just should just be a nice day. I'm looking forward to it. I feel like life has been a little bit humdrum lately. Um, I've lost, oh, they're here. I was going to say, this wasn't a mini kit, why I've only got three sheets, but it's because I've lost them. I've found them now. Right, so we have got our bottom washi, our side washi, um, our date covers and our headers on. Did I do the headers on the other side? I did. Right, so what I do when I'm memory planning is I refer back to my Hobonichi and I have marked the week which we are doing. It's this week. So that's what it looked like in my Hobonichi. I've just put a little tab on it so that I knew which week I was coming to. So I've got lots of things on there to refer back to. I do have some um, Dutch drawer inserts as well that have got some bits and pieces written on them from these days if I need to make any extra space. 
uh, or fill any extra space, should I say. So we're going to start how I always start on a Monday. We are going to start with bin day. And I'm going to put this lovely pink sticker down. This sticker paper is really, really nice as well, by the way. If you haven't had a look for Blush Row, go and find them on um, Instagram and Etsy. Their stickers are beautiful. I don't PR for them or anything. I just, um, I just stumbled across them and bought them and love them. So we're going to do a pink bin from Blossom Nose Co. And we're also going to straighten up this sticker that I didn't put down straight. I don't think this is removable sticker paper. It is coming up though. I think if I'd have left it any longer, it would have ripped the paper up. It felt a bit, a bit stuck. So we've got these bins from Blossom Nose Co. Which we are going to put down like so. And then I'm not going to fill this in now. I'm going to fill it in at the end and then come back because I think the video will be too long if I do it um, as we go along. I know you like my videos, but I think an hour of this might be a bit too much for you. You would definitely switch me off. Um, right, and then I'm going to put down one of these um, decoration boxes. And because I've got one down the bottom, I like to put the one on Monday further up to the top. Like so. Then underneath that, uh, I'm going to put a full box, half box, because it says that I caught up in all of my planners. So I'm going to do that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to do one of these quarter boxes because I've written down that I used a rhubarb and rose candle and it was absolutely gorgeous. It was from... Um, what's that candle sort of Devon Wick it's on it just popped up on my Facebook you know how like you're just talking and Facebook completely stalks your life and starts recommending you stuff that you've been talking about it was recommending me wax melts because I've been talking about wax melts to my friend um and I popped on to blush row uh, sorry not blush row that's these uh, Devon Wick it was Devon Wick candles or Devon Wick co um and I bought some they had an offer on where they were doing five snap bars for 10 pound was it I'm pretty sure it was five snap bars for £10, so £2 each. They were gorgeous. They were absolutely gorgeous. But my favourite one was the rhubarb and rose. So I'm going to note that down on there. We're on to Tuesday, let's do another full box. Let's do... Let's do the uh, safety... Safety... Inflator thing. What is that? What's that called? I want to say a boy, but it's not a boy, is it? What is that? Safety ring. Is that a safety ring? Let's hope I'm never drowning and need to shout for what I need because I wouldn't get what I needed. I'm really sorry, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Too much um, too much time with these kids, I think. Too much time stuck at home with these kids is, is affecting me in the brain. Okay, so... <laughs> Next up, I've got that I went to visit my Nana and Brian because obviously this was July so we were allowed to we're not allowed to visit them at the moment again which is really sad I rang them yesterday um, and they were okay they're good they're not too bad so my nan and Brian are um, in their late 70s early 80s and they should be staying in but they are not they're still going to booths every day. They live like 10 minutes away from me and um, my mum drives and goes to see them. Um, she's bubbled up with them so that so that she can get them things if they need them. However, will they be told? Like, if you need anything, let me know and I'll come and drop it off around your house. Like, it's no bother. You know, I can drop it off, knock and run, you know, wave at you from the end of the street. But I rang her up yesterday and I'm like, you all right, Nan? She's like, oh yeah, yeah, we've been out for lunch. We went to the beach cafe. I'm like, Nan... You're not supposed to be doing things like that because they, they are vulnerable. Brian has got diabetes, so you shouldn't be mixing with people like that. And they've been doing that for the entire of lockdown. But will they be told? And also they've been to booths as well. They've been to booths because Brian won't let my nan shop anywhere else. He needs he needs his bits and pieces from booths. It's literally just face palm every time I get on the phone to him. For goodness sake, will you just do as you are told and stay in? Um... 
but never mind, they won't be told. It's just really hard because I I love my nana. I'm really, really close to my nana. I love her so, so much. And I would go and see my nana three or four times a week because she's only 10 minutes away from me and um, she, it's now on the route to going to pick up or dropping off my daughter to school as well. Um, but with Chris waking up at the hospital, I just feel like me going to visit them and us going to visit them would just put them at too much risk. So we're FaceTiming them and talking to them on the phone all the time and stuff, but it's not the same. Like, even when lockdown was finished with and um, we were allowed to go and see them again, I still couldn't give them a hug. And I just want to hug my nana. I just want to hug my nan. <laughs> but um, she's fine. She's absolutely fine. She's getting on with them um, knitting and stuff. And she has, I bought her last year a tablet for Christmas because she likes to read and I was trying to introduce her to like digital reading you know Amazon what do you call them oh my goodness a Kindle a Kindle um so I can see like because and actually my nan's not good with technology so I had it all signed up I have it all signed up to my email I can see her downloading books and just generally living her best life so she's cool she's not she's not bothered at all but it's hard isn't it not being able to see the people that you love so much so we've moved on to the Wednesday and it says that I went to Morrison's in the morning with Lee. So that's on our local retail park, which has, um, so obviously Morrison's Cafe, we will have gone there for some breakfast. And then we've got uh, Poundland and Aldi and TK Maxx. Um, there was an office world, but that's gone. What else is up there? There's um, an Iceland food warehouse. Lots of stuff for curries. We wouldn't have got in curries, but yeah, so we did that. So I'm going to pop that there. I still haven't put that down straight, have I? No. And then underneath that, it says that me and Chris went to the halfway house for some lunch. I don't know if that is going to... Whoops. Did I make that any better? Possibly. Possibly made that better. Right, okay, I'm cool with that. I'm going to put down one of these little sort of divider things because I don't have too much more to put on this day. Let's find another. We've got so many. Look how many boxes you get with this kit. It's amazing. So I'm going to put this one down for going to the halfway house for lunch with Chris. And I'm going to put um, maybe a food sticker or something at the bottom there just to cover that space. So that space won't be there. So moving on to Thursday, we're going to do what we just did before and go with one of the full boxes. And I'm going to use, um, let me use one of these deco boxes. I'm going to have quite a lot left over from this kit, but I'm going to move it into my removable sticker album. And we can maybe use it in our PP weeks or... In something else. I've just reorganised my reusable sticker albums as well. I can do you a flip through if anyone's interested. I have two now. So I've got my beloved one from Josephine Bow Designs and I've got a smaller one. This is a 4 by 6 and this one is a 5 by 7 I can get them on the camera. And what I've done is I've put all my icons and scripts in this one and this one has got everything else. And um, this one is still nearly full, so I mean, maybe I could even go for the third one and move out the Hobonichi Week stickers. That might even be a thing that I can do. But yeah, I can pop on the camera and do um, and do a flip through of that if anyone's interested. A quick flip through of it. Maybe I'll just do it anyway because I want to do it. But yeah, I'm loving those reusable albums. So you can get the four by six ones and the five by seven ones from fab planner prints and you can get those gorgeous five by seven foiled ones from josephine bow designs as well that's not straight i'm having real trouble putting these stickers down straight today but it's fine we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it we're just gonna ignore that and go with it right so uh oh it was my friend's birthday it was my best friend's birthday on this day so we need a special box for that pretty sure I've got some birthday script stickers somewhere as well which we can pop on um, let's have a look I think that will be in the back of this one I've tried to organize it so that I can sort of <laughs> know where what I need is I'm gonna use one of these birthday party ones oh oh no I can't use that because I've used 
gold foil. She didn't have a birthday party, but what I'm going to do is just cut that party bit off the bottom. These were from a Happy Planner book. I'm pretty sure it was the, um, is it Super Mum? I'm pretty sure it was the Super Mum one. So if I just put that there, then I can write Lee's birthday, Lee's above the top of it. So that's cool. And then I went to the post office on this day as well. So let's find a sticker for that. Um, I'm going to use one of these. And then, do we have any page flags? We need a page flag. We don't have any page flags, do we? No. But maybe I can use one of these bows and mark down that I did a face mask just with a little icon there. So that is that day sorted out. Then on Friday, it says that we went to Buttermilk and the Park with Bella. So we can put down a box to mark that. I'm gonna put them in separate boxes. So we'll have that one for Buttermilk and we will have this one for the park. Buttermilk is a cafe that's near us. It's my daughter's favorite. She loves it. Um, and then it says that later on I went out for drinks with Lee for her birthday so I need to put down a full box I'm going to put down this anchor there we go and then I'm going to put down another um Let's do a grey one. Another box to mark that I went, oh no, that's a grey one there. I don't want two greys near each other, do I? Let's do a pink one then. So I'm going to put down another box here and mark that we went out for drinks. Right, so let's move on to Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Saturday was a lazy day, no doubt, because I was hungover from drinks the night before. So let's just mark that down with this. And I feel like I might have some lazy day script stickers in here. I've got me time. I've got relax. Hmm. No, I can't see it to hand, so I'll have a look afterwards when I'm filling it in. Um, and let's do our decoration box. Let's do this cute one here. And then I've put down that I was watching... Oh, I was re-watching Cutting It on the BBC app. I remember that. Has anybody else watched Cutting It? It was so good. I didn't finish it, actually, I don't think, because then I ended up re-watching Waterloo Road. Um, I'm a bit fickle. I don't, I don't, I don't seem to watch. If it's a long TV show, you know, if it's if it's got a lot of series, I don't seem to make it to the end. I seem to just flip over to something else, which is a bit of a shame. But I will go back and watch them. So we'll just mark that down with a little TV icon from the Crescent Planner. They're on clear sticker paper, which I quite like. Um, and then for tea, oh, it says that we had kebab so that must have been a takeaway night because I didn't want to cook so I'm going to put that down there and we can mark that off and then on Sunday I'm going to use this beautiful box with the lighthouse I'm still looking at that ring thing that's on there that, and what, what is the name of that what are they called a buoyancy ring? Why am I being ridiculous and I can't remember the name of it? I tell you what I wanted to do and I haven't done it. I wanted to use a bit of that washi on the bottom. So I am going to lift this up with my undo. And 
and I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the washi because then I can put the weekend banner on it. I might need just a little bit more. Oops. I need to order some more of this. I'm running out. I've had this bottle about um, oh a year and a half at least. A year and a half at least. So it's definitely worth uh, the money. And then, oh, I've dropped a bit of the undo on there, but it doesn't matter, it will dry. And then I'm going to use this on the bottom here. that's why it looked like it had a thing on it it's actually cut of course it is of course it is Rachel. don't be ridiculous so if we cut that off there that's really nice because we just get the decoration bit on it I'm always scared of cutting through the paper so I don't cut I don't cut it far enough to uh, to slice through right so that is that and then I'm pretty sure that I saw a little weekend banner somewhere in this kit so if we have a look for that here it is then I'm going to stick that on the top of there That looks gorgeous oh i'm happy with that i'm happy that i brought that box up right so i've still got that box here it's still usable i'm not going to waste it i'm going to pop it down here because it says that we went to nano and brian's again so i can use that and then underneath there i'm going to put um some checklists because i'm going to write down the important things that i needed to do that week just for a memory so that is the week down so far and then i'm just going to show you what i've got left i have a ton left an absolute ton left i mean you can see there's loads there and i haven't even touched the deco yet so what i'm going to do then is i'm going to go through and just add a bit of decoration let's just clear the table a little bit so i've got a bit of space <clears throat> so let's add some deco on these boxes just to to brighten it up a little bit oh my goodness look at that washi I wish that was a real thing that's gorgeous look at those oh. isn't that gorgeous um, add some on to Tuesday going to put down this beautiful swimming cosy um, and this beautiful bag doesn't that make you think of holidays that bag that really does make me think of holidays uh, a little bit of decoration here let's use this little floral swag and we can cover up that space that we've got down there at the bottom um, Oh, there's a Kate Spade planner. We've got to have that one down. I don't want to put too much on and overwhelm the spread, but I do want to put some on because it is gorgeous. Um, let's have these little sunglasses. Um, and just something here. Have we got anything that I haven't already used? Have I have used one of those hats? No, let's have that beautiful hat. And then the rest of that decoration can be saved. Oh, that's absolutely gorgeous. Right, so I'm going to pop off the camera. I'm going to fill all that in, pop it back in my planner, and then give you a quick flip. So I'll be back shortly. So here I am back with how the spread has turned out. I realised as well that I didn't have any date dots on, so I just used some that I, these ones here that I got out of a Happy Scrappy 
uh, sorry, a Happy Planner book. Um, I bought them in a D-stash and they seem to go perfectly. So yeah, we have got a completed week. I love how this turned out. Really, really happy with this. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, sorry if this video was a little bit all over the place. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Maybe I should just go back to bed. Um, I'm definitely going to go and top up my coffee, that is for sure. If you watched this video to the end, thank you so much. I hope you're all safe and well. If you like this video, if you could give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I'll love you forever and I'll see you soon. Bye!